Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death, the series where I am permadeath running a couple of characters. Currently we are following Hermetheus in his journeys to cleanse whatever uh, undead scum will show up. And he's accompanied by his um, trusted steed Frost. We are starting light on today's episode. Got ourselves a new sword. I want to test it out uh, without much problems. Oh, it works well. Less stamina drain. Gets rid of uh, the undead scum just like a normal weapon, uh, like our previous weapon would. Okay, so that apparently does not work. There's still an option here, as there is often an, a helmet. Block that one, buddy. Good luck next time. All right, I'll come back uh, with a master key lock. Uh, we are here at Harmer's uh, Rest. I decided to not do Dustman's Cane because we have seen that uh, already. But maybe we can do Silver Drift Lair and see how far we can venture into that silent moon camp is i think we've already cl uh, cleaned it well i'll figure out uh, which of the caves we want to do the one thing that definitely has changed is unearthed uh, will be to the next stage but as you can see still in the need of around a thousand five hundred gold pieces before we get there because once we clear it there will be uh, request for 5,000 gold pieces, so gotta get some more money before we go there. Good, next up, I decided to uh, shortly pay a Silent Moon Camp a visit. Nothing big, but just your usual little Bennett uh, shenanigans. Oh, look at you. But so the healing definitely works much faster now that we got the upgrade. Might as well be able to um, heal that one-sided. What hasn't changed is our hunger uh, for stamina. It really hasn't really. Uh, that hasn't changed. I'll get that afterwards. Back to getting yet another key. Good, we're back this time with um, a few keys. So I opened the door, that's good. A couple of potions here. Tell you what, that is a really fair trade. Much carry weight do we have left? Not enough to carry that. Plus, we already got the enchantment. Yeah, overall, a bit disappointing. Barely broke even on that trait. Well, 
Well, now we're talking. Okay, so... That was that. We're going to quickly head over to a few bandits just uh, to, to start. And then I uh, will do the actual content, which is uh, Meridius Beacon. I'm trying to find that and do a date request. Good, here we are. Let's see how well we're doing with bandits. And Frost, you might not want to just run towards them. That's a bit too aggressive, my dear horse. Oh, a trickster. I see how it is. Are you trying to kill my horse? Are you guys seriously trying to kill my horse? Take offense in that. Good. Still, the whole stamina thing is a bit of a problem. I need to get hit in order to even regenerate enough stamina. He can't really hurt me. Boy, is the stamina regeneration a problem. At least on the other side, bandits are no longer an issue. Nice try, buddy. Well, for that cinematic kill... It cost me all of the stamina. Well, great job. And it's most certainly are not the type of content that is convincingly difficult now. Sincerely hoping Frost made it out alive. And we need to eat something anyway, so might as well refresh that. Yeah, the new sword is decent. Work with that. She's not a mage, she's ju just a trickster. All of that are scrolls. And now she ran out of scrolls, great. can do that all day long, baby. Okay, that'll give us the necessary funds in order to do our little expedition.
I think from now on I will not show banded content because my series compared to the character strengths just too trivial. Lots of mammoth meat. I think we can work with that. That's good. Big fat coin purse. Knock one is a very helpful spell. And that's a great find as well. I think we'll sleep here. That might uh, come in handy a bit later. Yeah, we have plenty of good tools available. Okay, good. Let me uh, move on to Meridian, uh, hand in the quest and uh, move on to Meridian's beacon. Hey, okay, so I am at Meridia's statue. Unfortunately, she wasn't showing me the way uh, towards her beacon. Uh, that is the quest that I originally wanted to do. I assume... Requiem changed it and we're not high level enough in order to do it. However, um, there's still something that happened. I grabbed uh, the shout and decided that uh, we're going to play uh, with Elemental Fury as the shout. Look at that. We got some nice attack speed, even without any further perks. So... That might compensate for the lack of our melee damage, at least uh, to, a, uh, to a degree, and would, co uh, would uh, fit into a Retribution Paladin build quite well. Um, I will deduct a thousand gold pieces for the first shout, 2,500 for the second one, and 5,000 uh, for the third shout, indicating the costs uh, to actually learn them. And now, uh, we do have another quest. We find ourselves in solitude. I heard you're looking for some help with the Wolf you School the Cave. Dragon Bridge issue. I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Barnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Very good. So we're you going to do to exactly to that. The Blue Palace is an open forest. Why are we still overloaded? Let me fix that and go to the Wolf's Cave. We find ourselves right here at the Wolf's School Cave. Um, and this is the starting Potema questline. That might still be a bit too much for us, but I want to give it a try at least. Got a couple of Little surprises up my sleeve. Good. Let's let's try the quest. We will need to fight against a few casters. And we don't really have uh, the best ranged damage dealing options. We have okay uh, range damage dealing options against Draugr, so. Alright, Frost Mage. Uh, let's deal with that. Resist Frost. And we are picking up. a Fortify Health as well. Ok, 
Okay, careful. Fortify stamina and a slight regeneration. We're in toxicity now, so we can't just continue to zip potions. Okay, that skeleton is standing there, which gives us a bit of time. Holy shit. Well, this quest is going to be tough. We might need to come back a later time. Okay, for now it gives us a decent uh, time to cover, uh, recover, which is good. Chugging one more potion. I do have an idea. We still had the fireball potion, uh, for fireball scroll, and these guys nicely cluster up in there. Good, that fireball. Hit the mark. Got them nicely. Still got resists uh, going. Got to regenerate uh, stamina. I think I can get them down. They are just waiting there for now. I think I can indeed get them down. Shouts on cooldown. Just need full stamina. They are frost mages, which also means uh, they are reducing my stamina further. It's a bit unfortunate. Luckily, they are stuck and are not coming. Can I increase my burst a bit further? Any poison? No, unfortunately not. We're also fully loaded at the moment. There is, isn't much. Can increase dodge. No, we we can't drink any potions. That's not the solution, Saiken. They get uh, major armor back up. Alright, let, let them stay there, that is fine. The Draugr blocks them for now. Good, we got one down. I think we're tanky enough to take the other two. What kind of bolts do we have? I think I already loaded some of the strongest ones. Uh oh, 
she's re uh, resurrecting him. Don't have any immediate means of killing the guy. So we're moving deeper in. Need stamina again. I haven't even made it uh, really further. She's a tough cookie. Let's try this. Oof. Staff of fireballs and she completely emptied it. Wow. Loot-wise, definitely worth it, but the combat was super hard. Not sure if we're dealing enough damage in order to go through this. This defecto just had been the beginning of the dungeon. I think that's the Bard quest line. Yeah, we don't want to just drop down. I know there are ways to get back up. This is pretty much a one-way ticket. Let's be careful here. The wolf's runes. Now the real con begins. Hear our call and awaken. Let's get some of the orcish bowls loaded. Long have you slept the dreamless sleep of death, Fatema. No longer. Hear us, Wolf Queen. We summon you. If we can hit that necromancer, I think we should be golden. 
unfortunately hit the Draugr instead. Two times. They should be, relatively speaking, lightly armored. Okay, we can always heal back up, that's the advantage of this build. I wouldn't have imagined that I'm doing this with a ranged weapon. But it is working so well against the Necromages. Careful stamina management. Fortunately, these stupid frost mages are draining even more stamina with their spells. And they're drinking my potions. Well, technically, it's their potions, but I wanted them as loot. Okay. Two of them down. Are we seeing more? Currently we're fine. I think we're still in combat. Pretty sure we are. I tell you what. We need this here. Are we still okay carry weight wise? Yeah, apparently we are. All right, so Try to get a solid foothold here on this side. Good. Cleared out the Draugr. Cleared out the Necromancer trash. That is super valuable. Okay. 
but we're again in a slight slightly problematic area gotta get rid of some of the weight we don't need those Good, so that's the official way down. We sort of shortcutted it. Another aspect is, let's just double check if there are any bolts. Because the orcish bolts are quite helpful in one-shotting them. Unfortunately, I can't see any. Good. Off we go into the actual dungeon. Yeah, we definitely triggered quite a few enemies. normally wouldn't want to go into a ranged duel, but the moment that I charge in, it's going to get so much worse. Being in a long range duel here. And I hate to admit it, but they do have the upper hand. However, if and when I hit, I hit hard. have to drink regain some stamina I'm so waiting uh, for the talent that allows us to heal stamina as well Tell you what, I think we need a different set of bolts. Ox bolt of fire. That sounds like more like it. Yep, that sounds more like it.
Another necromancer down. Ooh, okay. One more. Slightly running out of stamina regeneration, which was to be expected. Let's get that good old orc bolt of fire in here and hit the ritual master in his ugly face. Something is wrong. There is an intruder. No shit. Of course I'm intruding. Okay, we made it out. Finally, nice little lightning shackles. That's a great find. I'll hold on to that. And whilst we're getting stuff out of here, might as well loot all of that. Gloves of Magicka. Good, that's part one. I will loot the remainder of the dungeon and then we're going to get the F out of here. Uh, just double checking really quick. I know that we did have knock. Elsewise, I must come back later. Yeah, that would require knock level 2, which we don't have. Okay, I will end this particular segment and hand in the quest. Alright, we handed in quite a few of the quests. The Patena quest line, just like uh, called Bjorn Barrow, and the um, White Vile quest this one where you're starting it, you're kind of uh, doing the first part of the quest and then after a while the game decides to send a courier your uh, way and the moment that that happens the courier uh, will uh, send you a letter and then you can do the next part of the quest before we do part three of this quest uh, here though i would say we're increasing skills because we have quite a few available for starters we wanted heavy armor of 55 if my memory serves me well good that's good enough and we also wanted restoration to continue leveling up so that in itself already takes quite a bit alteration we're getting that to 25 So that we could theoretically take a perk. And with the remaining points, that's still 16 points, or we're uh, leveling up even further if we're taking a couple of sight skills. Is there anything like useful? I mean, we could go speech. 25 just to pass a couple of persuasion uh, checks that would be the worst and it would give us another potentially another level i tell you what we're uh, going to do that you can even increase all of uh, the skills to 25 just uh, so that you do have enough 
are mm, enough levels. It will substantially slow down afterwards, but there is really no downside in taking a couple of the skills, I suppose, and upgrading them. So with the remaining points, I want to go and increase one hand so that we can raise it to 50 as well. We got a few breakpoints overall and should have a level up. We even got two level ups, which is great. One health, one magicka, another one health. We got even three level ups. Uh, that is awesome. So it worked out well. So the reason why I didn't take stamina is I'll simply perk fortitude here. 40 stamina, 20 carry weight, even when not wearing heavy armor, 10% less effective mass. That should help us a bunch. Some more poison resistance and we wanted elemental nullification, which is a fresh um, 15 on all elemental uh, resistances. So that definitely made a sizable difference, specifically the stamina now should be fine. Uh, we're looking at what? 40 fire resistance, 30 um, frost resistance, 15 shock resistance. That's great. And uh, 20 magic resistance. That'll be helpful. The reason why I go for this is uh, the next Potema quest will come. And if you think that you've seen a lot of mages, then oh, uh, think again. Because uh, the second Potema quest line will be even more gruesome. Before going into this dungeon... Let's do our typical preparation. Take a little bit of that. And a little bit of that. Those soldiers weren't worth much. It's Raleigh's problem now. And a little bit of that. Finally, in terms of bolts, I Would like to take a couple of these here. We got a sword. Plus shield. And are pretty much ready and set. Let's go. Okay, well that is not how you're avoiding hits. Oh yeah, I remember. They opened that one side. And once again, our beautiful stamina. We got more of it now. But the regeneration is still absolute utter garbage. Okay, we can take care of that in a second. Look for bumpy start, but okay. Clever little Draugr. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's better than before. I just started really poorly. Overall, I guess the big problem is still the regeneration itself. The Draugr is somewhere. I can see them. Dude, don't fall down. I want to get all the way down there just to get you. Let's try that again. Definitely can hear the drogers, so they are somewhere near. to do single slashes because it is still too expensive to deal to deal with the power attacks oh you jumped down buddy well, hello there. That was a decent fight. We removed the Draugr corpses and got some mana back.
Slowly but surely all of them are coming. Okay, bring it on. Apparently that was the last of them. Wasn't expecting spiders here. Less, uh, less so even some that would crush themselves. This one is a trap chest. Completely empty trap chest. Great. Okay, I'm still pretty sure that uh, we can enter this chamber here. Just requires a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And there are the gauntlets of warding. Which should be a huge upgrade, considering that we're still having chitin gauntlets. On a like-for-like -like basis, 90 versus 60. Oh yeah, that, that's definitely an upgrade. And we're looking at what? Fifty percent stronger wards. Spell power increased by five percent. Magicka 40 and Oh, yeah. There's our ring. I didn't want to have that ball, thank you, but I'm good. See, the loot in here is just fantastic. There's no other way to put it. This is where we're going to go next. Very good. Let's 
So the dungeon is ready for our final descent, but that final descent will need to wait a bit longer. Mainly because there is a um, big scary uh, dragon priest at the end of the dungeon. Once we are through it, Enzo of Dibella already knows about him and almost died. So we want to make sure that that is not happening to Hermetheus as well. well good. I think we're, we've developed 5,000. I know. And Koi, have you got the money? Matter of fact, we do. And this once again, we're broke. Well, semi broke. That do the trick. Good. Let's take a look. We still had a nice ring of Arcana, and I think that that one is even better suited for what we wanted to do. Destruction 12% less, increases Magicka, restores one Magicka per, uh, per second. And the other one would be... Conjuration, which we don't need, 60 Magicka, and general Magicka regeneration faster. I think overall the Magicka regeneration will be somewhat similar. This ring also... ...does allow us to at least cast a spell. Ignite is add up level, so is freeze, so we haven't skilled anything uh, into destruction yet, uh, but it will come over time. I don't think that I want to give away any, I, either of uh, those rings. Just double checking the mana regeneration speed. Looks almost identical to me. Very similar. Good. We are finishing with a very slight level up here. Continuing to go into one handed and some more restoration. That's pretty much it. Hams of Dybala had uh, explored this dungeon and now Hermetheus is trying to do the same. Has a nice little small um, part of the set already and we're now slowly but surely able to cast more. 300 magic, fantastic. Just gotta get uh, health up in some way of regenerating stamina more effectively. But uh, we will get there. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the content, uh, feel free to uh, think about what kind of uh, amulet I would need. Then put that amulet around the uh, like button. Uh, and only a thumbs up can really hold it uh, tight. So don't forget that and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.